We had been extraordinarily busy in the days leading up to my trip to go up to Baltimore for this board review course and I was uh, tired and fatigued but that can sometimes happen in the cycle of when we're just in a very high acuity uh, period. And so while I was attending this course I had noted that I had uh, some back pain that I had had for some weeks prior was becoming exponentially worse to the point that uh, the day before the end of the conference I had to pick up the phone and call my wife and tell her that I was going to be on the next flight home that I needed her to pick me up uh, at RDU and take me to the emergency room because I knew something was something was dreadfully wrong. Shortly thereafter, diagnosed with a compression fracture in my thoracic spine. Ultimately, the fracture was biopsied uh, and found to be a diffuse B-cell lymphoma. It was a very difficult um, time because when uh, you work in cancer for a living. It just seems almost surreal that you would suddenly be on the other side of the lab coat. I'm a man of very strong faith, and uh, my um, uh, church family surrounded me as well. Um, and on top of that, I was in the middle of a process towards ordination uh, to the diaconate in the Episcopal Church. And so in April of 2015, um, I had a uh, PET scan and um, uh, we found out that all signs of my tumor um, had resolved. And then in uh, the late summer of 2016, uh, I began to note um, some uh, discomfort when I was uh, sleeping and felt some pressure on my lower back and was having a number of other uh, different issues and I just started to not feel well. And so um, I reached out to my uh, team, uh, spoke with uh, Dr. Deal and Mary Malachy who was with him at the time and they immediately reeled me back in um, to get serum markers and have another scan done and I was found to have a relapse in a large retroperitoneal mass. It's devastating news but in the moments of uh, greatest fear and darkness um, while I might have felt that uh, I was falling into a hole uh, I never hit the bottom. Uh, there was always a little net that would catch me and keep me from falling too far. And I know that that net was uh, spiritually the prayers and love and support with which I was held by so many people around me. I can literally remember after my second cycle of chemotherapy waking up one morning and understanding, I'm gonna be okay. In my heart, I know I'm gonna make it through the other side of this. And I did.